Hi, today we're going to replace the track on this Arctic Cat T660 Turbo Trail. It came apart on the last ride. Because the track goes around those sprockets on the front drive shaft, we have to remove that drive shaft. In order to do that, the chain case has to come apart. So the first thing we're going to do is drain the oil out of the chain case. And that's this drain plug right here. The drain case plug has a magnet built into it to collect any metal shavings from wear. I'd say this is just normal wear. No big pieces of metal, broken gears or anything. We're going to remove the battery. Okay, I guess I want to take this muffler out of the way so we can get to these um, battery tray bolts. We have to take this cooler out of the way to get down to the muffler. Okay, now that we have the battery and muffler removed, we can finally get out the chain case cover. There's seven bolts holding this on. There's also a couple for the part of this muffler bracket. And there should be one more. That's the one right there. Aha! Uh -huh. A shifting fork in there. There we go. Yeah, see that shifting fork? I have to slide it out of that groove there. Okay, we're going to take this idler sprocket off. Now there's this also this shim on the outside. Keep track of that. And there's a little rubber pin in this inside idler sprocket. We just want to pull that out so we don't lose it. And then we're going to loosen this top nut. We just set the parking brake. Again, there's another washer here. And remove this cap screw. From 
the lower sprocket. Now this reverse gear should come off. I'm going to leave the idler gear right on there. Okay, take that idler gear out. There is a shim behind that. Don't want to lose that. And there is a washer down here behind the lower gear. Let's just take this rubber seal out of here. This is the shaft that we need to remove to get the track off. Before we take off the bearing on the drive shaft, we're going to remove the skid frame. from inside the track. To do that, we just take out these bolts on both sides. Okay, first we want to loosen the track. So we'll take out this cover. bolts and then the front bolt
There. Now we just need to uh, take the bearing holders off the ends of the drive shaft. Let's just get this chain, this uh, belt cover out of the way. Now that the mag side is out, I was just going to see if I could, yep, get that bearing off. Wasn't so bad. Tracks out. The drive shafts out. We have all our parts lined up here on the bench. I'm gonna put the um, drain plug back in there. Cleaned up the magnet. We're gonna stick that back in while this is all wide open. Let's check out our new. Camoplast High Performance Track. It's the Ripsaw 9146H. There's a directional arrow right there. So this is the orientation we want it in. Proper length. After we put the track around this, we're gonna slide that end in there, just like that. Of course, it's a little tougher with the track. There we go. Okay, put the mag side bearing cover back on with the speedometer pickup in it. chain case side. Just put a little clean oil around the o-ring inside this bearing. So some, some oil on this O-ring, it's going to be a little tricky. I think 
got it in there. That wasn't so bad. So the rear holes were not lining up. So I put this ratchet strap in here to pull this down. That might be where we want it. One more, I think. Perfect. Undo the ratchet strap. The track tension setup specification is you pull down with 20 pounds of force in the center and it should measure one inch and a half, inch and a quarter to inch and a half. I'm gonna go right there, inch and a quarter. The same on this side. Okay, we're gonna take out this O-ring. Just clean it. That nice and clean. Seal back on here. Spacer washer. Lower gear. Shim washer on the idler gear shaft. There we go. All at the same time. The reverse gear.
we go. I just needed to get my hand in the right position. Idler shaft screw first. Lover. Battery box. Muffler in place. Now the cooler. Down on there. Exhaust pipe. And don't forget to add oil to your chain case. And the battery. And when you put the battery back in, make sure to hook this bracket together before you put it in there because it interferes with this and you won't be able to do it after the battery's in. When we put this belt guard back on, you have to be careful not to lose these little bushings. Well, we have it all back together. All we have to do now is track alignment. Now that we've ran the machine and let the track coast to a stop, we can see that this wheel is over toward the left side of the machine, or the track, I should say, is to the right side of the machine. You can also just, with your finger, feel the distance. from this side of the track to the idler wheel on this side and the, we can feel that the track is over to the right 
So we need to tighten this right side up a little bit. And we're gonna tighten it. It's about a quarter of a turn, half a turn. Let's go another three quarters. Let's try that. feels really even from one side to the other with my fingers. So we'll tighten up lock nuts. Make sure our rear axle is tight. And we're ready to go test it out. 